Morning guys, Grant from Four Wheeling in New South Wales. Thanks for tuning in and watching another episode of Product Spotlight Info, where I bring you the latest products that you may not be aware are on the market, and they may just help you get out and camp that little bit easier. What have I got today? Well, I'm out here at the beautiful Marangaroo National Park, just north of Lithgow, and the weather's turned horrendous overnight. We've had a bit of rain this morning, so I've packed up and I'm gonna head off, but I wanted to share a couple of products that I think may just help you and your four-wheel driving expedition a little bit easier. So this particular track behind me is rather washed out since we were here last. There's a big hole to the right of the driver's front wheel. I'm not gonna go up here. However, if I was to get stuck, the furthest point of recovery are those two big trees up on the other side of the track. Now, it's a common question that just about every person that buys or is new to four-wheel driving is, what should I buy first for my 4x4? I'd always recommend a recovery gear kit, uh, that being a bag with a snatch strap, a winch extension, either soft shackles or the traditional metal bow shackles. Get a good quality one. There's a lot of cheap stuff on the market. Now, good quality doesn't necessarily mean ridiculously expensive. So you're better off buying a good quality product as opposed to buying a cheaper quality because it's got a brand name sewn into the eyelets, if you get what I mean. So if you're on your own and you're relying purely on a winch to get you out of that situation, you need to be able to have a, a second option that you can winch to the closest winching point. So I'm gonna show you a couple of products anyway, which I think may just help you. It's a company that not a lot of people may have heard of, but they used to be a huge supplier to a lot of the chain stores. However, unfortunately, chain stores started importing their own and getting them branded that way. They're all Australian made, Australian owned company, family company, and I'd really love for people to get behind them if you're after a really good quality recovery kit. So let's go and have a look at what they are. That Dan Murphy and his law, now the sun's out. <laughs> so I've packed up because I'm predicting hail and snow and everything up here and I've packed up and now the sun's come out. Can't predict it. So behind me here, I've got some of the gear from Just Straps to go. Now, I'll put all the details in the bio below. Their official trading name is Just Straps To Go with the number two. I'll put a link to their website below. So it's a fantastic story. The company is actually Atlas Wholesale who was started around 35 years ago by Peter's father. And back then they used to sell a lot of, a lot of equipment that was dedicated more to the marine side. So things like uh, oars and kayaks and more boating marine -y sort of stuff. And then over the years, obviously they've condensed their range and now under the name Just Straps To Go and their new sub brand of Just Straps Recovery, JSR on the black bag behind me, they're specializing in a whole swag of ratchet straps and tie downs, cam buckles, things like that. And the best thing is, as I mentioned before, they're all Australian made. All the webbing's made by a company here in Australia. They send it to Peter's factory at Castle Hill and they bind it, they put the eyelets on the ends. And I had the pleasure of spending a couple of hours with Peter a few weeks ago. And the knowledge this gentleman has is just phenomenal things that a lot of people don't think of uh, things like safe workloads uh, braking strains strap strains all that sort of thing peter was paramount back years ago in helping set some kind of i guess standard it's, it's a it's a it's a bit of a hard one to explain but yeah a lot of products that come into the market say they meet an australian standard but there's not really australian standard specifically so i won't go into all that because it's yeah it was it was amazing the the background to it the thing i found really good with these guys is they they even went to the trouble of getting a test bench in their factory so you would have seen online there's countless videos on youtube where these straps are put to a test where they basically fix either end onto a machine and it's like a big ram and it pulls it out so far to the to their rating and then it goes past that point and it tests how much extra you get out of the strap and whether they comply or pass, etc. They've got one of those test benches in their factory. It looks like an elevator shaft, it's a vertical version. So they strap it in, pull this thing up and obviously when the strap breaks it goes off with a hell of a bang. So I found that really interesting that they've gone to the time and expense of investing in a machine like that to test all their product. So they know they're good gear and as always, if I can find Australian made products over imported, I'll always buy them because I believe that we need to support Aussie companies and Aussie manufacturing because once it's gone, it's gone forever. No one's going to invest 
hundreds of thousands of dollars to set up a new factory in 10 years time if people aren't getting behind their product so I really encourage people to, to spend on quality and if you can get Australian made even if it means maybe paying 10 to 15 percent more just try to do it because you'll get a better product and you're keeping jobs here in Australia anyway I'll run through a couple of things now they've been very kind they've given me um, some little goodies to give away I'll start with these as they are the giveaway so I've got half a dozen of these and some stickers to go with it and I've got a couple of hats there that they are very kind to give me we'll use a random comment picker and it'll pick out six of those six I will pick two personally that I think just hit a call and we'll throw a hat in each as well so what these are these little winch joining straps is for people that may have had to use a winch extension strap you'll know that they under pressure and even even snatch straps under immense pressure when you join two straps together which is simply that's your recovery strap that's your other vehicles recovery strap slide it down poke that one through that goes to the recovery car that goes to the vehicle it's stuck when you get immense pressure of these two straps pulling together it's very difficult to get those back apart you might as well just throw them in the bin because you'll generally you'll never get those separated some people jam sticks through the hole there sticks will snap fly out whatever you can even roll up newspapers which tend to bend and they're not they're just not rigid enough so the guys at just straps have come up with these and it's such, such a simple idea they're essentially off cuts of webbing but obviously they've been sewn in to make a specific joining strap so that simply goes through that gap your two vehicles pull tight on it or your winch and, and essentially I can't quite show you by hand because it does take a bit of weight but once those two straps come together that little strap is a hell of a lot easier to pull back out because you can simply bend it and it's more pliable than what a stick might be or your old newspaper or whatever so it tends to be a lot easier to get that back out you can bend it in half like a u slide that out and then these two recovery straps will come apart a hell of a lot easier such a simple design and idea they're quite an inexpensive investment to help in your recovery weighs bugger all so you can leave it in your recovery bag pack it away behind your seat in your camper trailer your, your ute slider drawers etc adds bugger all weight so really good idea they do about five or six different colors I don't know the ones that I'm going to give away I can't say specifically what color they are and if you do order them on their website depending on depending on what stock they've got they may just randomly pick them out unless you mention you know orange yellow whatever um, but yeah thought they're a really good little thing cheapest chips get you out of a pickle okay folks so for the eagle-eyed you may notice this is a slightly different background and the reason for that is this is an after editing section of footage so leaving home at five o'clock to go out to Marangaroo to film the rest of this clip I left these two main items in the garage in the dark so <laughs> sorry about that um, hence why I mentioned at the start of the clip about a winch strap so this is what I did want to show you while I was at Marangaroo this is their heavy duty winch strap this one's 6.1 ton minimum braking strength with a 4.1 ton recovery load limit 60 mil wide by 20 meters long really heavy duty you can see it's got the colored eyelets on this one which are blue so again it's an easy identification that it's not a snatch strap so obviously as mentioned in the clip elsewhere this one won't have quite the same up to 20 percent stretch that the snatch straps do so really good quality big heavy as in heavy weighted not heavy in the back of your vehicle but a really heavy weighted strap which i would have no issues with running a winch up to a, uh, a winch point using this so as the footage showed in the clip uh, a track where you've got your furthest winch point some distance away that extra 20 meters in there will certainly get your your winch out a lot further this was the other awesome snatch strap that i wanted to share so again aussie made both these products all australian made australian owned this one here this is a 9.75 ton uh, minimum braking strength 
6.5 ton recovery load limit and this one is a 70 mil uh, nine meter long so again the green eyelets so you can identify straight up that it is a recovery strap or a snatch strap as they're commonly referred to this one will have more of the stretching capability so fantastic for snatching out of bog holes mud etc where you rely on that kinetic energy to help pull the vehicle out of the situation it's in so again really good quality like you're going to have a lot of trouble snapping that with most four-wheel drives so most dual cab utes that you see wagons etc they're usually three ton or under so this will certainly have no issue getting any of those sort of vehicles out as they say on there the minimum braking strength of your strap should be at least between two to three times your vehicle's gross mass or the gvm gross vehicle mass so almost 10 ton in that one so that'll cover you for all your standard utes wagons uh, you know things like ford everest 200 series 300 series cruisers uh, ranges all the most popular common cars that you see out and about on the roads this would handle any one of those no problem at all so they do a couple of extra heavier versions of these as well which are on their website really good gear so they are the two main things that originally got me interested in sharing these with you all uh, as i said i just left them in the garage in the dark last weekend i had planned to film them the weekend before but that was a bit of footage loss so check them out heavy duty winch strap recovery strap or snatch strap all australian made and aussie owned now let's get back to the beautiful Marangaroo. cheers guys sorry to interrupt and let's keep going another product well i'll stay with recovery for the minute these are fantastic these little things so as i said i'll put links to the website below because all the information is there but this is one of their four-wheel drive recovery kits comes in this bag really sturdy good big handle on the top helps helps with the weight now inside the bag it's packed in quite neatly Just flip that over so inside the bag we've got an 11,000 kilo snatch strap JSR again all Australian made Australian webbing even I found that interesting when Peter was talking about these his product knowledge since running the business as i said it's just phenomenal if you were to ring them up and say you had a strap with jsr printed or a, or a tag that's faded and it's hard to read but it's got jsr on it you've only got to tell him it's a green eyelet and he'll be able to tell you whether it's a snatch strap winch strap etc and that's the thing there is a difference a lot of people use the wrong strap for the wrong purpose so with a snatch strap you need a certain amount of giving it uh, i think it's up to 20 percent roughly so that as you recover a vehicle it stretches and that static it's like an elastic band when you stretch an elastic band and let it go essentially that's what a snatch strap does now you can't use a winch strap for recovery purpose and vice versa so if you were to put a snatch strap around a tree up here somewhere and you start winching off it if that strap is not taut obviously as your winch is trying to pull your vehicle out of the situation that snatch strap is going to stretch and you don't want that you want it to remain static so always remember winch straps should only be used for winching if you've got a kit like this you won't have any issues so 11,000 kilos now these are the difference mainly is and i'll correct it on screen if i get it around the wrong way because it's been a few weeks since i discussed these with peter your snatch straps are nylon whereas the winch strap is polyester and that's the difference in the stretching factor i'm pretty sure i've remembered that the right way i did film all this last weekend out here and my memory card played up on me so i lost everything and at the time i had everything written down up here <laughs> so bear with me so but yeah that's your snatch strap 11,000 kilos another interesting point you can get snatch straps in all different colors but if you go what they call natural i think it is where it's that white coloring it's actually stronger because when they dye snatch straps and i found that quite bizarre when they dye them the dye getting into the fibers has like a memory and it alters the minimum breaking strength of the of the strap so if you really do want to get something that's quite up there in numbers stay with your clear purple and pink and everything might look cool but if you really want to get the maximum braking strain for your recovery kit 
stick with the natural colour, not the dyed versions. And how I came across just straps, I have a snatch strap in my in my recovery bag, which I bought secondhand on Facebook Marketplace years ago, and it had a tag on it, just straps and the Australian made logo. And I thought, Australian made, surely, surely not. It didn't seem to be something we'd make here. So I did a bit of hunting and obviously found Peter and wanted to have a chat to him. And I've got to mention too, this is a full disclaimer. This is not a paid advertisement. I'm not financially benefiting from this video. I just really want to support and showcase Australian products wherever I can. And I'm happy to work with companies. So I haven't received any free products from this. I am going to purchase a winch strap from Peter. I just really believe in the product and I think it could help a lot of people. This one here, this is an equaliser strap, heavy duty, has an 8.1 tonne minimum braking strength. So these are generally used for equalising the pressure or the load between your two recovery points on a vehicle. So obviously if you are in a, in a really difficult situation where you're potentially putting a lot of load on, on your recovery points under the car, instead of just pulling from one recovery point, which obviously puts all the weight there, you use an equaliser strap between the two recovery points and that allows the load to be spread basically 50-50 between the two points. So yeah, 8.1 tonne minimum braking strength. So they do, a, they do a whole range of products. So make sure you check out their website. As I said, they do a lot of ratchet straps, tie downs, all those sorts of things, all Australian made too. Different ratings, different packages. The one thing that really, really appealed to me too is because they are made here, they can do, they can do custom work. So it's not something that you can just turn up at their factory at Castle Hill and say, I want a 400 metre long pink strap and I want it now sort of thing. But if you do order it and you give them a few days, a week's notice, depending on how busy they are, they can custom make products. So if you're a, say you're a, a tow truck company that has a fleet of trucks and you've got corporate colours or something like that, or your vehicle's sign written or colour, coloured a particular way and you want to keep that theme, if, if you like that look, they can custom make straps. So yeah, if you if you've inquire with them, they'll be able to give you all the information on that, which again, something that you can't really do with a lot of the imported products, unless you buy a container of 30,000 of them, they're not interested. So uh, they come with a couple of your traditional D shackles as well. I know a lot of people nowadays like the soft shackles, but I'm a bit old school. I, if, if done correctly and safely, I think these are fantastic because they're, they're solid as, it could be a bit of old school thinking, but me personally, I, I do prefer a metal bow shackle over soft shackles. So I do have a soft shackle. I bought one at the 4x4 four, four four show. Um, I do like the idea of the soft shackles. However, yeah, just my way of thinking, I still prefer a good solid metal anchor point. So these have a work load limit of 4.7 ton. Two of those come in there as well in the bag and a pair of gloves. So if you are running out hooks, you, you want to protect your hands from cuts, abrasions, etc. They come with a good little set of rigging gloves in there as well. So that's their JSR recovery bag or kit. I'll put details below to their website, as, as I said. Don't get confused. When you go to their website, juststraps2go.com.au, you will see on there that they also have the JSR branding. They're in a transition period. So over the coming months, they're merging the two brand names under the one umbrella, if you like. So. There's Just Straps To Go and Just Straps Recovery, which is mainly their dedicated four-wheel driving sort of gear. So if you have a look on the site, you'll see that their recovery straps, uh, snatch straps, they have a couple. I think I saw one on there up to 19 tonne or something. So if you're one of these travellers with a big, the, the big heavy American utes or you've got a Unimog or something and you really want peace of mind, like 19 tonne minimum braking strain is insane. So check out their website. A couple of other products they do, just various sort of things that are camp related. Little padded bag, just straps 4x4. Now this one's just a little cooler bag. So obviously for people that are doing day runs, you're going on a picnic, if you don't have a fridge in your vehicle or you just want to throw a few cold beverages, uh, a bit of cheese or something like that, food items, and you want to keep it cool. Nice big deep uh, cooler freezer bag. So 
chuck a couple of ice bricks in the bottom and that'll keep all your drinks and food really cold little zipper pocket on the front a couple of velcro tag i think it's a great idea because we've got a couple of padded cooler bags like that at home in the pantry and they're a pain in the bum to store like they just don't fold very flat you've got to have somewhere in the cupboard i mean that's probably 50 mil high you could leave that in a drawer in your vehicle you know in a pantry cupboard bottom drawer at home so just something to add to your, your camping sort of range now we've got this one here this is the recovery bag like that so we'll just pop this open their recovery straps are as tough as their sticky tape <laughs> you'll be in for it yeah so that's that's the bag i'm pretty sure i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure you can buy just the bags too off their website uh, if i'm wrong i'm sorry but check out their website because you may be able to buy the bags on their own if you already have some recovery gear and you just wanted a really good good thick sturdy bag to put it in that's the recovery bag you wouldn't believe it now the sun's out blue sky i've packed up i could have stayed here for a few more hours but the weather was not on our side uh, same one again just straps so i'll pop this one open So same sort of thing, this one here is, yeah it's the same size, it might just be there, as I said they're in this transition period between the Just Straps and the JSR, so that may just be one of the bags that had their previous branding on it, but really smart, all embroidered on the front there, very professional looking, and then I've got a little, little bonus offer for all you viewers, so make sure you hang about till the end of this clip to see what it is and then again this one here is just another little recovery bag zipper pocket on the back now you don't have to use these for for just recovery either um, you might have you might be really organized and have a bag for say your cooking stuff so you might have a little bag like this you can chuck it's an ideal size you can throw a couple of boxes of fire lighters in there some matches uh, some of those clicker lighters um, you could use it for a kitchen bag so you could throw some utensils in there you know the, it's the sky's the limit really with what you utilize these products for they don't have to just be recovery bags now this one here lastly to show you these things are brilliant such a great idea again i don't know why someone else hasn't thought of it previously but this is under their just straps tie down range now it's a set of four fridge straps they're fs25 they they're basically like a normal cam buckle but the difference being that i've seen a lot of utes around that maybe say a work ute and you use it on the weekends for four-wheel driving camping etc but you don't leave your fridge on the back cam buckles are great no issue with them but these sort of go one step further in that they have this loop system and a little metal buckle at the bottom essentially that goes around the handle of your fridge be it a waco uh, my coolman uh, angle whatever but that loops around your handle of your fridge and pulls back through giving you this metal i'll put an overlay because it might be a little bit difficult to see but it's a metal u-shaped hook and that simply hangs then off the side of your fridge that one goes around your tie down point in your vehicle so you might have a fridge slide you might have those track mounts like i've got in here that you can ratchet tie down to that just goes around there and then all you need to do every time you want to get your fridge on or off it's got a cam buckle along the length of it like so that simply sits over that like so my hand being the fridge handle and then all you do literally is push a little cam buckle the little spring teeth section push that pull it down there you go your fridge is now tight as all you got to do when you get home if you want to take your fridge back off or take it out of the car because you're not camping for another six months etc all you do hit that little spring again pull that out undo your buckle and away you go so that that piece can stay mounted to your fridge all the time simple idea really clever they they came up with this concept themselves designed it they get the little teeth section made for them really simple but super effective so yeah i thought that's a great idea 
I said a lot of people don't want to leave a fridge on the back of their car. But that's just a simple way of securing it, super quick, because that's already on the car. Yeah, I thought that's a really good idea. So, pack of four, details will be on their website. So, yeah, really, really fantastic range of products from this company. And as I said, 99% of it's Aussie made, which you just, you can't argue with that. Now, special for you viewers, Peter's been very generous to offer a discount code now it's not a kickback type thing, I don't get anything out of this. What's the offer? Go over to their website, juststrapstogo.com.au and for every purchase of $30 or more, use the code fourwheeling in the checkout and you'll get 10% off your purchase. I think that's fantastic. This is not an Amazon type kickback deal, I don't get anything from it. It's just helping you guys save 10% off a fantastic range of Australian made and Australian owned product. And I just think that that's brilliant. You can't beat it. So get behind the brand, Just Straps and Just Straps Recovery. As I said, all the details will be in the bio below and links to their website. Really lovely company. As I said, I spent a few hours with Peter and it was a real pleasure. Lovely guy. What Peter knows about this industry is just phenomenal. He honestly would have more knowledge in his pinky than what I could ever learn or understand so brilliant company you can ring them and tell them you've got a strap with a purple end on it and they'll know it's an extension strap or an equalizer strap uh, if it's green it's a snatch strap recovery strap etc very knowledgeable company really nice to deal with so please check out their products make sure you use the four wheeling code and you can save 10% off your purchases for $30 or more I'll post all over the country if you're after some recovery gear that is the best on the market and Australian made and owned. Don't forget to head over to juststrapstogo.com.au. Comment below, why do you need a bit of this gear in your four wheel driving kit? And I will have six comments randomly selected and they will get one of these little prize packs. Don't just comment because I four wheel drive. I'd like to know what it is that would make you lean towards this brand. Fingers crossed, good luck to everyone. Thanks again for watching, I really appreciate the support. For regular updates, make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We, we post on there regularly. And stay safe, that's it for another Product Spotlight Info segment. Here on the beautiful Cox's River, I might sneak in one more coffee before I head off and uh, get out of here before the rain does come over. It's not too bad now, but just absolutely beautiful country up here. And I'm lucky enough to own a vehicle that can get me down to spots like this. So. Stay safe, and remember, as we always say, stress less, camp more. Cheers, catch ya.